recipe, what you're gonna need is your ground beef, and this is cooked ground beef, what you're gonna need to meet ground beef uncooked, or if you use a, a pantry freezer, deep freezer prepper, pantry prepper, however you wanna see it. You're gonna need some cooked ground beef. But I have some ground beef right here. I already showed you how I cooked it. You're gonna need you some taco seasoning, some cheese of your choice. This is my favorite. You're gonna need you some salsa. I like thick and chunky. Some sour cream, some shredded cheese of your choice. You can. This is optional. This is the taco sauce. You're gonna need some jalapenos. That is uh, also optional. Which is this is the dice ones. You're gonna need you some either taco shells, tortilla chips, or soft shell tacos. Whichever one is your preference. All of them. If that's what you want to do. You're gonna need you some tomato. That's optional as well. And you're gonna need you some lettuce of your choice. I'm gonna be cutting this up. I love romaine lettuce. I'm not a fan of iceberg, so that's what I'm gonna be using. All right, let's get into this video, y'all. Today, what we're gonna be making is some taco salad. Y'all, today what I'm about to make is some tacos. So what you're gonna need is the ground beef. And I got a light, I got a lot because we're gonna be eating this for leftovers as well. Some tomato. What I'm about to do is I'm about to brown up the meat. So I'm gonna get it all browned up. And while it's browned up, I'm gonna take the onion and cut it up in the as well. Let it start cooking with the meat. So all of the meat is done. This is done. Yeah. Um, liquid has cooked food, and this is what you should have when it's done. Y'all, this is what I'm about to do. I'm just cut this up until. You know, small pieces. Cut it up however you want to cut it up. I'm just dicing mine up. Use as much as you would like. And make sure when you're browning your meat, you're going to be uh, chopping it down to fine pieces. Like so. Okay, whatever kind of meat that you want to use, that's what you use. I'm going to be draining my meat. Normally I like to rinse it off, rinse the seasonings and stuff off my meat, but this time, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna drain all the grease off of it instead of rinsing it. I like it either way. But when you rinse it, after it's brown, it helps you get rid of all of that uh, 
grease that's on it. So since I'm gonna go, I'm going to be draining it. I wait to. See, I, I wanted to season it, but I, I'm gonna wait to see. No, I'm gonna season it now. I'm gonna season it now. So I got some garlic powder. Use as much as you want to use. Onion powder. Then I got some seasoning salt. And I'm just gonna work that into the meat. You want us? You want your meat to have flavor. You just don't. You don't want that top. You don't want just the taco seasoning. You know, I like. I like my meat. I'm a flavor type of person, y'all. Okay. Over here on my channel, you gonna learn that. So welcome to my channel. If you're new, I thank you for coming. I am here not gonna be in. But yeah, y'all. I like. To, I like flavor. Y'all try help me get reach that first goal of 100 go bell range. Y'all know what that means. When I say go bell range, that means hit the thongs of the light bell. Play the girl one time for the one time. You see how I'm chopping down the meat where it's fine? That's what you want. You don't want no big chunks of meat. So find you a sturdy spoon, spatula, uh, a meat uh, mixer, or whatever it is. And break your meat down into small pieces of foam. They cook together before it cooks together and clumps. You don't want it to cook together and clumps because then you're going to have some crunchy meat on your taco salad or whatever you're going to use this for. And see, you can use this meat for quesadillas, taco salad, um, uh, whatever whatever you want to use it for. Whatever you want to use it to make. So you don't want your meat to be all um, that, you know, all um, and clumps and stuff. So, once I get all this here brown, I'm going to come back and I'm going to show y'all the next step. Because some people, they don't know how to use a taco seasoning. Some people, they just, they, they use it the wrong way and then they wonder why this stuff turn out salty. So I'm going to show you how to use the, prop, the taco seasoning the proper way. But I'm not one of the ones that measure because, as you can see, I got a whole lot of meat here, and you probably want to use as much meat as I'm using. So there's no, no there's no reason for me to even measure anything because the proportions is going to be right. All right, all right. So I'll be right back in the next step. All right. So all my ground beef is brown and it's mixed fine, and so now I'm about to drain it. I'm about to give it a drain. Okay, so now that I have cooked my ground beef and I have drained it and everything, so now I have my, this is chili powder, hold on. I got my taco seasoning. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna add the taco seasoning, pop in the pack that it is that you need. I don't measure because I like for it to have a certain taste. I love for my food to have, you know, taco, taco flavor. I don't want it just, I think the taco flavor is there. I want that taco flavor to be there, okay? So, I'm probably going to use about three packs for the amount of meat that I have cooked. So that's two. That's the last one. Three. And then now what you're gonna do is you're gonna add your, you're gonna mix this all together all over the meat. And so you see how it's just sitting on the meat, just powdery, it ain't, you know, going in and stuff like that into the meat. You want it to be in the meat. You want all the flavor in the meat, not just sitting on the meat. So how you get it in the meat is you're gonna take you some water and you're gonna add that to your ground beef. And what the water's gonna do is loosen up those seasons and it's gonna distribute it throughout the meat and it's gonna start, you know, giving it that taco flavor. So we're gonna get all this here mixed around. And I like to add enough water to let it simmer in it just a little bit. I'll show you. 
So by the time I'm through, I'm gonna see just a little water in the pan and then I just let all of that cook out. And then I'm done with my, my seasoning portion of it. So I'm just gonna get all this mix together. And I taste my food as I cook. So that's how I'm gonna know if I have enough taco seasoning or not. If I'm gonna need one more pack or not, a little bit more or not. And if you don't have another pack, if you have some cumin in your cabinet, the cumin will work just fine. So now I'm gonna add just a little bit more. See y'all, it don't soak up all the water. So I'm gonna add a little bit more. And all together, it's probably gonna be about a cup of water that I'm adding. It's not a cup and a half for all this meat. And when you let it, and when you let it see, so now I can tell I got enough water. So I'm just gonna let this here simmer. Taste it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna add a little more. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna let this here simmer until all the liquid cook out. And that's gonna help intensify the taco flavor. See, it's not really a lot of water, but I did add a lot of water, as you see. That meat is just gonna soak up all that flavor. So we're gonna just let this, put the lid on it, let it simmer until all the liquid is cooked out. All right, so I'm about to hook up one taco salad for y'all. So this one right here gonna be for my grandma. She don't eat all the cheeses and all the sour cream and all that stuff cooking in this thing. So this one gonna be plain. So I'm just gonna put down some chips. I normally like to heat them up, but you know, my grandma, she don't like her stuff too hard. So I'm not gonna heat these up because it ain't gonna do nothing but make them more crispy. All right, so I'm gonna put down the chips. I'm gonna lay her some salsa on top that's gonna start softening up the chips for her. And then I'm gonna, that way each chip got some salsa. Okay, so then I'm gonna try like to grab it with my hand. I'm gonna take some meat and we're just gonna put some meat all over the salad, her chips. Like so, and then I'm gonna take some, not no cheese, cause she don't like cheese. I'm gonna take this right here, some lettuce, and put it on top. And that's her taco salad, y'all. And what she gonna do is she gonna take her chips and, and just crunch it up. That's how she like it. All right, so I'm gonna show y'all another one. Okay, so now I'm about to do some taco shells. So what I did was I took my shells, I put them in the oven. And so what I like to do is I like to take my cheese and spread it on the inside of the shell. But you turn it down just a little bit for a second. And then spread the cheese. Spread the cheese. Spread cheese all in the shells. Y'all might have a music a little bit louder in this video because music playing in the background and so I don't want no copyright strikes for that. Okay, so I'm gonna get that cheese all in those shells. Just like that, that way you'll have you some cheese in every bite. <clears throat> so now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my meat and I'm going to fill my shells. And this one right here, what I'm doing is going to be shells. You got a salad, but, you know, you can still do what you want to do with that salad, even though I didn't, you know, put everything on it. I like taco shells. I don't know why. I just like difficult stuff for some reason. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take me some cheese. The kind that I got is some more of that. And so I'm gonna put that on top. And then I'm gonna put some cheese on top. 
So I'm gonna fill each one. Each one with the cheese. You can melt it if you want to, but that don't bother me. I like to taste the cheese sometimes. Especially when you're hungry, honey, it don't it really don't melt, okay? All right, so now I'm just gonna go for me some salsa. Now I'm going with me a few jalapenos. You can't stand the heat, stay out of the kitchen. <laughs> no, I can't stand the heat, honey. That's why I got these little vinegar jalapenos right here, honey. I don't care for heat like that. Especially when I, I can't enjoy my food. Mm -mm, I don't like that kind of heat. But teach is on. I got that on now. So now I'm going to put some lettuce on each one. I like the lettuce. I like the extra lettuce on there. Okay. So now I'm just gonna take you some sour cream. Matter of fact, let me go and get my little sauce on here first. On top of them, like so. I'm just gonna drizzle it on across just like that. Y'all know this is gonna be some good messy eating. Mm -hmm. All right, and then the sour cream. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Happy Taco Tuesday.